Imagine we have to walk from one place to another. For this, our brain thinks about the movement, instructs the respective muscles and helps us perform the task. This is what we know as a voluntary activity. Now tell me, do we need to remind ourselves post some time that we have to inhale and exhale air? Or do we remind our heart to beat and pump blood? No, right? That just happens without our notice. These are the examples of involuntary activities. Involuntary activities are mostly the crucial ones that occur within us and which help us sustain life. Take this activity of breathing for example. Isn't it extremely important? If we don't breathe, then how will all the cells in our body obtain the necessary oxygen for survival? And how will the toxic carbon dioxide be released out? Also, how will the cells derive energy if the food molecules are not broken down? So overall, respiration is extremely important. Now tell me one thing, are breathing and respiration the same thing? I'm sure your answer will be yes, but that's not true. Let's understand what exactly the difference between the two is. To begin with, I want you to answer one simple question. How do we get the energy to perform all activities? Most of us will answer from the food we eat, right? Well, that's partially correct. The food we eat is the source of energy, which means that the energy is stored or locked inside the food. In order to unlock or derive the energy from it, the food needs to be broken down. And this requires oxygen. So we can say that the process in which the food is broken down in the cells with the help of oxygen to release energy is called respiration. And how is it different from breathing then? Well, breathing does not involve breakdown of food molecules inside the cells. In fact, breathing is purely the exchange of gases, oxygen and carbon dioxide to be precise. So the activity of inhalation and exhalation is breathing. Whereas, deriving energy from food molecules with the help of oxygen is respiration. Does this mean that breathing is a part of respiration? Absolutely. Breathing is a smaller process which is considered as a part of the larger process of respiration. Let's once again go through the definition of respiration. It's the process in which the food is broken down in the cells with the help of oxygen to release energy. And how do the cells get oxygen? It's due to breathing, right? That's why we say that breathing is a part of respiration. Now the next important thing we need to understand is the types of respiration. Hold on, isn't it a simple process? How can there be types in this then? Well, respiration is classified in types based on the location where it occurs. There are three types of respiration to be precise. External, internal and cellular respiration. External respiration is the one which occurs at the nasal level. The oxygen from the surrounding air is brought inside the nasal cavity and the carbon dioxide is given out. This is called external respiration which involves interaction with the exterior world. In other words, external respiration is sometimes used synonymously with breathing. Next in the list is internal respiration. As the name suggests, the one which occurs internally or inside the body to be precise. When the oxygen from the air reaches the lungs, it gets transported to the blood. Similarly, carbon dioxide from the blood is given out in the lungs which travels later to the nasal area. The oxygen then travels throughout the body and is delivered to the cells and the carbon dioxide is similarly taken away. This exchange of gases that occurs inside the lungs, blood and the cells is called internal respiration. And last on the list is cellular respiration. Don't we know this? The name says it all. The process in which oxygen is used to break down the food molecules by the cells is called cellular respiration. Many times, internal and cellular respirations are confused with each other. But now, the difference is very clear. External respiration is where gaseous exchange occurs at the nasal area. Internal respiration is where gaseous exchange occurs between the lungs, blood and the cells. 
while cellular respiration is restricted to the cells only. So is this seen in all organisms? Do all organisms have this similar system? Well, it's obvious that the mechanisms will vary from habitat to habitat and from organism to organism. So how are the mechanisms different? Let's find that out in the upcoming video.